Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about axial, tangential, and oblique modes. So let's define them. We've done this many, many times before, but there's just so much uncertainty out of there uh, with these three issues that I want to revisit them again. So axial modes are, this is the designation for parallel. So two parallel surfaces. So sidewall, sidewall, front to rear, floor to ceiling. Remember, we've got three areas that we have to be concerned about. So then we have the tangential, which is four parallel surfaces. So we could have two side walls, a floor and a ceiling. We could have two side walls, a front and a rear. We could have a front and a rear and a floor and a ceiling. So we have to take into consideration the pressure between all of these surfaces. And then oblique is the, the least pressure area, and it's from six parallel surfaces. So it's all six surfaces in the room walls, floor, and ceiling. So all three of these are areas that we have to be concerned about and we have to treat, okay? So what frequency, where, and how large are these problems? Well, we know from the literature that axial modes are the most powerful between two parallel surfaces. So let's kind of focus on those right now. And I think that'll help us with the uh, illustration here. So there's a software on the internet called AMROC, and uh, we'll post a link here so you can uh, get to it and see. But the nice thing about this software is that it, you plug in your room dimensions, it tells you the frequency of your problem, and it also tells you the location. So let's use an example here. Let's use a wall, a room that's 16 wide, 10 high, and 27 long. So just break down, you know, the first four problem areas. So at 35 cycles, we have a 27 foot wall, the 27 foot wall, the length issue. And then just seven cycles later, we have a 16 foot to 16 foot problem at 42 cycles. So you can see that length and width already are problematic in this room, okay? And then look at here, at 56 cycles, 14 hertz away, we got a floor to ceiling issue. So we have floor to ceiling, sidewall to sidewall, front to rear, okay? And then at 62 cycles, we're back to our, our, our width dimension again for problems. So that's why I'm always uh, telling you uh, to realize how important the room dimensions are because when every surface area is creating all the problems, we wanna make sure that we choose the right ratio of dimensions. And width, height, and length all work together or all work against each other. You can have it either way. Or you can have two that work together. You can have one that doesn't work with anything. And which one is that? It's always this. It's always the ceiling height. I do see some widths in rooms that are less than the ceiling height, believe it or not, but very rarely. I might see a nine-foot width with an eight-foot ceiling height. So... What we have to realize here is that between the two surface areas and, and axial modes, we have a whole distribution throughout the room of problems. That's why when we treat rooms, and I always tell people, you know, we have to treat all the surface areas if you're really going to go after it. Now, if, if you're doing freestanding units, it's all surface areas. Because as you can see here, it's all surface areas that are causing the problem. So we have to treat the cause to get the solution. Unfortunately, it's expensive to do. And that's you know how we have to do it. So in certain rooms, like two channel listening rooms or mixed rooms, we can get away with the front and two side walls and we can forget about the rear. So there's ways we can conserve some dollars and, and, and help our budget out and get maximum performance. But in an ideal world, if we have all these surface areas that are causing the problem, we have to treat those surface areas. All right, so I hope this helps. I hope this clarifies a little bit that if you've got a problem in one area, you can see that you're gonna have problems in other areas too. Hope this helps, thank you. Thank you for watching this video and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. 
We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to. So please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.